My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. How many people know what this is right here? It's a 1955 Chevy Cameo pickup truck. There was a truck that would get you through the work week and still impress the dates on Saturday night. It's the first year to have the slab side underneath there. Remember, they had the big exposed fenders prior to this. So in 1955, they came out with this. It was a, a pretty unique feature. And I'll tell you all about it, but this is fiberglass, and I'll tell you why. Uh, some cool features with this truck. So the fellow I bought it from told me this was body off frame restored in 2014 and there's about 1500 miles since. It has power steering, power four wheel disc brakes, uh, custom suspension, uh, custom interior, uh, air ride suspension, done up real nice. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs and study all the information. That's also where you will find price tags on every collector vehicle we have for sale, along with a monthly finance uh, payment option as well. That's at volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. They only made the Cameo from 1955 to 1958. They made about 10,000 all together. So these are rare trucks, uh, unique trucks. Uh, they're calling it the first sport truck. It's kind of a crossover from straight utility work truck to something that had a little class, something that the, the boss would drive, something you'd still take on a date. So anyway, the body was off the frame. Up front is uh, independent suspension, the front clip from a 1977, uh, I imagine a truck. Uh, so it's independent suspension up there, coil over shocks. Uh, the frame is nice and clean. And back is a four link suspension, it has tubular adjustable control arms. Uh, it's got shocks all the way around and it has airbags in place of the springs and there's an air compressor and a tank. There's switches and gauges inside. You can adjust the height of the uh, air ride suspension if you'd like. Uh, the battery is underneath the truck. It's in one of those boxes that drops down, makes it easier for accessing and changing the battery. Uh, disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, two and a half inch exhaust going all the way out the back has glass pack style mufflers, uh, which you'll hear towards the end of this video. Uh, the floors look to be nice and solid. The frame looks nice and clean. Looking up at the motor, it's very clean. Uh, I think this one has a chrome flywheel cover. It's a turbo 350 automatic with an external oil cooler. And in back, it's a Ford 9-inch rear end with 273 gears. So that's a nice cruising gear. Uh, so now the body itself. So. The fellow that designed came up with this, <clears throat> the beam counters uh, that estimate what it's going to cost. It's going to be too expensive to retool the back of this truck. That's why they made it out of fiberglass. The same company that built the first fiberglass Corvettes uh, built the sides, and it just attached over that big fender that you're used to seeing is probably underneath here, I'd imagine, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, this is made out of fiberglass. So it fits the cab really well. Looks like it's almost one with the cab. You have the slab side, and then you've got some nice features back here. Nice tail lights. And of course, you have a really nice looking bumper compared to what's typically on a truck. This looks like the car bumper. Uh, so these are fiberglass panels. It's the same metal box. They didn't change that. They just covered it with these panels. Put the chrome trim in front. It's got uh, fingernail uh, guards here by the door handles as a metal windshield uh, visor. The fellow that designed the truck also uh, took this from the Cadillac. This uh, eyebrow over the headlight looks just like the Cadillac. And he also took the egg crate grill from the Ferrari. 
So again, trying to class up the truck. Uh, so the chrome up front is sparkling. The grill and the bumper, I'm sure, were replaced. The body itself is really nice. Uh, it is black, and I'm very critical. Most people would say it's straight. It's got a little ripple. But being fiberglass, that might have just been the nature of it. The early Corvettes were actually very crude. Uh, they were a little bit wavy and didn't fit right. But it's very clean and solid. It's all metal. Uh, I mean, from here it looks really straight, fits nice. Uh, it's all tinted glass. Yeah, all tinted glass has a chrome frame around the window. Um, moon wheels, they're in excellent shape. They're shiny with some nice BF Goodrich tires. They're extra wide. There is a small um, mini tub in back to, uh, to hold the big tire. Uh, real nice looking tailgate with the Chevy emblem here. It opens up from inside. We'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Uh, you got a black bumper with chrome uh, bumper guards, the nice tail light. This side of the body is real nice. Again, that's fiberglass, so there's no rust there. I don't see any rust showing on the body either. Some little, little tiny pimples in the paint right there. And overall, the paint job is really nice. Again, I have to be critical. People buy these cars. I don't want anyone uh, misled. So there's minor imperfections that a, a professional body man that would, would pick out. Your neighbor or most people are going to come up to this and think it's gorgeous. It's shiny, smooth, glossy black paint. So that's the outside. Why don't we open it up and see what it looks like inside? So I absolutely love the whole back end of this truck. This is so cool, unique, stylish. This is just completely unlike any trucks up until this point. Again, they were very basic. I love this tailgate. It's got two handles inside that work smoothly. It has the cable, which must have some sort of counterweight or a spring that rolls it up. Uh, look at that, it closes by itself. So I really like the tailgate. The inside of the box is painted black. Uh, the wood was redone on the floor, has stainless steel uh, strips in very good shape. Not a perfect truck, but very nice truck. Back window has a few scratches in it. The rubber gasket looks like it was replaced. Uh, I don't, this is a big window. I mean, this wraps all the way around. I don't know if they all came that way or not. I've heard of big window trucks. That's got a big window in it. So new weather strips around the doors. The door jams are clean. The door panel, uh, just a painted inside metal door with a vinyl insert around the handles. Uh, all in very good shape. Now the dash is painted smooth and glossy. Has a nice billet insert with dolphin gauges. The knobs are nice and they're marked right now for what some of the stuff is. Heater controls, it has a glove box liner. And then down below the dash, are the, this is how you control the air right. You can let the air out or pump it back up. Yeah, it looks like they have some extra gauges here as well. Nice tilt column, the shift indicator, custom steering wheel. All the knobs are matching even for the hazard lights. The seat is upholstered nice, uh, nice and firm. And then overhead, it has a headliner, which is usually an option in a truck, matching visors. The mirror looks new. So like the rest of the truck, not perfect, but very good. Also has seat belts. So we've got a 350 uh, Chevy motor, seems to be running real strong, uh, Edelbrock intake and an Edelbrock carburetor. It's dressed up with Holly air cleaner and valve covers and in back is an HEI uh, ignition system. Plug wires look new, a chrome alternator. And we do have power steering and we have power brakes. 
radiator, shroud, fan, all that looks very adequate. The wiring probably been replaced. The wiring is very uh, neat and tidy. That tailgate's one of my favorite parts of this truck. So there you have it. 1955 Chevy Cameo, a very innovative truck in its day, very collectible today, and it has nice upgrades. You actually use and drive this truck. Very nice shape overall. That's my impression, folks. Go to volocars.com, talk to a salesman. They'd be happy to answer your questions the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.